We at first though want to go over a couple of numbers. We do have projected winners already here at 840. We have Chewy Garcia, the projected winner in District 4, heading back for another term in D.C. with a victory tonight on the Democratic side over Ray Lopez, and he's at the mic now. Yeah. A clear attack against immigrants, against women, against African Americans, against Muslims and Arabs, and the LGBT communities. What that should tell us is that we need to, to stand strong together and united. Our work together will be tough, but we are tougher and we've demonstrated it time and time again. We will not back down because we know what is at stake. Our priorities are not just talking points. They are commitments to communities and to ourselves. It's time that we create an economic opportunity future for working families and to lower the cost of living for all of our people. People should not have to work to live and live to work. People should be able to retire with dignity and grace and their families. It's time that we continue the effort to create more jobs and jobs that pay a good living wage and offer the guarantee of a good retirement. It's time to make health care a, a human right in this country and to reduce the cost of that care and of medicine. And Democrats in the U.S. Congress are committed to doing that. We're going to be working not just on lowering the cost of insulin, as we've done already, but to make that cost lower for everyone who needs it, but to also begin on that longer list of medicines that people need for their quality of life and their well-being. Right. And in the area of health care, it's time to codify women's right to reproductive health care as well. And we begin that work in Washington tomorrow morning. And it's time that we truly invest in the care economy, from child care to home care to the care for the elderly and those that we love the most. Those who care for them should be compensated adequately and have a future for retirement as well. And it's time that we get really serious about gun violence and the epidemic that's plaguing our communities across the land all over the country. It's destroying too many lives. It is time to act. We must build on the modest legislation that we passed at the end of 2022. We ought to have additional gun control measures, and we ought to ban assault weapons in America. And it's about time that we fix our broken immigration system. It's been nearly 40 years since Congress enacted legislation too many people are desperate, too many people are suffering, and we have a responsibility to them. This election showed one thing, that we will not cave to divisive politics of hate about whether someone came decades ago or a few days ago to our country and to our city. Immigrants deserve to be treated with dignity and respect, and it's time that we deliver on our promises to create a pathway for residency and U.S. citizenship. And I will continue to urge President Biden to use his full authority to provide the opportunity of work and living in peace and harmony to all of those people, our neighbors, our family members, those that we care about, 
to have the opportunity to work with peace of mind. Whether they came 35 years ago or only a few weeks ago, that is the real solution. In addition to that, we will petition the president to provide more resources to cities like Chicago and other cities that are welcoming cities and upholding the great American tradition of welcoming immigrants. So tonight's win is a testament to our politics of love and hope for immigrants everywhere. I thank the people We've been of listening Chicago. in on the a victory speech from Jesus Chuy Garcia here, the projected renter in the District 4 race on the Democratic side.